jump in to your guy. Damn, or fuck, that's delicious. Action Bronson. That's the one, dude. What a, what a guy. Um, he released White Bronco uh, this past Friday, which, I mean, it's interesting because Action Bronson, I feel like I never really like love his albums, but I usually find like one or two songs. I'm just like, ah, that song fucking banged. And like, that, that's enough for me with Action Bronson. Like, the rest can be shit and I like it. And that's pretty much exactly how I felt about White Bronco as well. Um, I, I think the, the line I wrote down was, Overall, it's it's like a classic action Bronson album, but not a classic album, which just says everything I think you need to know about him. What was your take uh, after a couple of listens? Yeah, I agree. I think White Bronco is a solid action Bronson project. It's uh, it definitely comes across that way. It's a short run time, right? He's kind of mm-hmm. put it on Thursday, not even Friday. Right. You know, I just kind of threw it out there. Um, did press like a week beforehand. Didn't really talk about that much, right? And yeah, I think there's some there's some good moments on it. Like, I really like the title track, you know, mm-hmm. and it, it has the essence of what makes good action Bronson music, which is uh, funny, kind of uh, out of nowhere bars, you know, just kind of making funny metaphors and references and mm-hmm. rhyming shit together in a, in a unique way and just kind of being the, you know, weird personality that he is off mic on mic. You know, that's kind of his calling card. And I think this is a lot more of that. I mean, uh, yeah, yes. He, he, of course, he has good taste in production. That's more, uh, you know, retro sounding. Mm-hmm. You know, Harry Fraud, freaking Rob Leiter's on here, and you know, there's some good songs on here. But it also doesn't, you know, overstand its welcome, which I think is nice because I think some of his projects might have got a little long in the tooth. Mr. Wonderful and Blue Chip Seven Thousand, which are mm-hmm. still, I still think good projects. But you know, there's there's some songs I didn't dig on though there. But this is you know just kind of short and sweet even if it's not like his best project or anything. So I was, uh, you know, I was happy with it. because I kind of had those expectations going in. Yeah. I'll give those 20, 20 to 26 minute albums. A listen every time uh, that that's, that's nothing. It's a lightweight. Um, actually, I think his live band, uh, the special, the special victims unit is what really stands out to me on this album. Mm-hmm. Cause they really like the songs range from very jazzy um, and, and really kind of light and airy to, like songs that fucking bang um like brutal has such a funky groove to it and like the distorted guitars on that track really i think like push it over the top even if nothing about bronson's verses really stand out um what white bronco like you mentioned is very like dreamy very jazzy influence same with dr kimball which those would probably be my my two favorite tracks off the album um irish freestyle i think is another one that stood out to me so um yeah yeah i think there's not really too much to talk about with it other than if you like action Bronson, you'll probably like this. And if you're not into it, it's, eh, it's, it's only 26 minutes. It's not, it doesn't cost you much.